Hi, and welcome to Studio. To enter your tasks in Studio, tap or click anywhere in the white area next to one of your classes. Pick an icon to represent what kind of task this is. And enter your own title. That'll make it easy to find. Enter some more details so you don't forget anything. Okay, it's time to tell Studio when this is due. So, tap or click on the Due icon and pick a date. Studio even helps you see on which days you have this class using gray dots. Let's pick September 7th. Okay, time to save this task. Just tap or click the Save button. You can always tell what you entered today because Studio displays the task on the date you enter it. And if you go to the due date we picked, September 7th, the icon is shown there too. All right, so say you finished a task. Well, it's time to tell Studio that you're done. To do this, tap or click the icon, then use the small circle on the bottom right to mark it as done. Now you'll always know what you finished and what you still have to do. Okay, so let's take a look at how to manage all of your tasks together. Let's use the tasks view. This is where you see all of your tasks and decide when to work on each one. The top area shows you all the days of the year. The left area shows all the subjects in which you have work to do. And the timeline is where all your tasks are displayed. They show up as bars going from the day they're entered until the date they're due. The planned area on the right is your list of tasks to work on today. Let's see how all this works. See that task at the top? It looks like I have an oral presentation coming up. It also appears on your list of planned tasks on the right. It's time to work on this task. Let's say you spend 15 minutes working on this. After you do, double tap or click the start icon. A new icon appears. This is the planned icon. It allows you to pick when you're going to work on this task next. Notice that our oral presentation is no longer in the planned list for today. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll come back tomorrow. Of course, you can also mark tasks as done in the task view. You can even double tap or double click the do icon to do it quickly. Uh, this works everywhere, actually. If you have a task that's not due for a long time, like this history exam, you can move the planned icon as often as you like, until the right time it is to start thinking about it, of course. That's it. Go through your list of tasks, and as you work on a task or complete it, well, you move the plan date or you mark it as done, until the whole list is empty. Do you ever have work to do that requires multiple steps? Studio can help you plan that, and that usually makes big tasks less scary too. Let's plan our study time for this exam. Tap or click the task, use the edit button, and go to the steps section. Use the add button, and in this case this exam covers three chapters, so we could set a date to study each one of them. You don't always need to set a date, but it can be a great way to plan your time. When you're done, go back to the task and use the save button. You can now see all the steps or dots in the timeline if you set dates for them, and mark them off when each is done. 